the abuser oftentimes takes on a very self-assuredness point of view of I'm right, I'm always right, you're always wrong, you're stupid, I'm smart, I'm capable, you're incapable, and you better watch your step, you better watch out, or else I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. And I want to be clear that my conceptualization of a lot of these people that do these kinds of abusive behaviors, they've been brainwashed that they're entitled according to gender or something. They've had tremendous feelings of inferiority growing up and or they feel like they need to do this to retain attachments. They feel like people are going to reject them or abandon them and they have overcompensated by believing they're, the only way they can have an attachment is through high control. So oftentimes it's a effort to get their needs met through a very destructive method.